Hi guys, and uh, welcome to a video response to Blue Tonic 78's um, What Are Your Most uh, Replayable Games? Now, there's a lot of titles that um, I can choose from. So what I've decided to do, I'm going to do a top five. My top five most most games that I play the most. Um, but before that, I will give out some honourable mentions. And the first game I want to start with is Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, um, Sonic, the original Sonic game, is one of the most played games. But it did miss out my uh, top five. But I, what, what can you say about this game that hasn't been said? I mean, this is such a great platform game. It's 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 a lot of fun. It's fast. It's enjoyable. It's got a great learning curve. Just an absolutely blindingly good uh, 16-bit gem. Um, I can't fault it. I play it to this day. Um, I love it a lot. The next honourable mention, and this one is going to be a slight cheat because it actually is a compilation, and uh, that is the. Capcom Classics Collection Reloaded for the PSP, although you can include this one for the PS2 as well, as I do own that version. Um, it's got just an amazing amount of great games. I mean, you've got uh, 1942, 1943, um, you know, you've got uh, Ghosts and Goblins, um, you know, King of Dragons, Knights of the Round. There's just so many great Capcom games in this collection, um, but it gets played a lot, whether it be on my PSP or my PS2. It's just a fantastic collection. Um, the remixed uh, collection uh, video, um, sorry, the remixed uh, game is also got some great classics like Final Fight. Just a brilliant, br brilliant uh, compilation of great uh, Capcom games from my youth. So yeah, that also gets uh, an honorary mention. Right. Uh, now, straight on with the top five, um, the fifth game um, in, in my um, most replayed game easily, easily has to be Super Probotector Alien Rebels, or to the uh, American cousins, Contra 3, Alien Wars. Um, this was one of those games that uh, I played a lot in my youth. Uh, despite not owning a Super Nintendo, but I did have friends that, that that owned a Super Nintendo and owned this game, and I did get to play it a lot, and it was definitely the game that I was most jealous of Super Nintendo owners for. Um, such an amazing game, but I will use this as a representation of all the games from the Contra series. Um, they're all immensely replayable, especially this one and um, Contra Hardcore, on the uh, on the Mega Drive Genesis, or as it's known in the UK, just uh, Probotector. Such a fantastic game, you know, great two-player action, and a fantastic uh, 2D side scroller. Just a lot of fun. Um, yeah, so th this is my top five. The fourth game, um, and this is one that, you know, again has aged very well for me. I still put it on so, so much every time I want a quick go. And that game is uh, Road Rash 2. Um, great uh, motorcycle, um, you know, action racing game. You know, you can punch and kick at your opponents, knock them off their bikes. You know, you've got to avoid police, uh, avoid obstacles in the road. It's just such a, f a fun game. Um, you know, I mean, I'm using Road Rash 2 as the definitive choice, but uh, I can include uh, Road Rash 1 and 3 as well. But uh, this is the one that gets played the most for me. Such, such great fun. Uh, still highly enjoyable to this day. Uh, the third game on my list is something a little bit more up to date, but uh, still not current gen. And uh, that game is Def Jam fight for New York. Now, people might be surprised by this choice, but I have to say, this is probably my favorite game on the PS2. Yes, you heard that right. This Def Jam game is my favorite game on the PS2. 
And do you want to know why? Because it not only has an excellent fighting engine, it's a, it's a, it's a fighting game, it's a wrestling game, but what you do is you can create your own fighter. You know, not only get, make him, you know, look uh, any way you want him to, but you also get to give him his own fighting style and you get to increase his stats which you do as you play through the story modes. I had so much fun with this game. I was able to create a character that resembled me. Uh, I built him up to top levels. I've completed this game so many times. Um, I've had my friends make their own characters, build their stats up, and then we fight each other. Um, this is such a great game. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm, I'm surprised no one really talks about it, but it's just, it's just got a great sense of humor. The fighting engine is excellent. It's a shame that the third game that came out on the PS3 was made by a different developer. It did not feel the same. This was, this is a really different game compared to the one on the PS3. Great sense of humor, great tongue-in-cheek story, amazing fighting engine, great custom uh, abilities. Just a fantastic fighting game all round. Graphically, it's beautiful. Highly recommended. I mean so much fun with this game and I still play it to this day um you know just to this day I've actually never ever even played of, of any of the uh characters pre-selected on the game I always use my own character because he has his own stats uh, and he's just superior to everyone but fantastic game well worth a look in um if you if you do still buy for the PS2 and my number two, um, now this is one that I'm only going to use as an example of the series as a whole, as opposed to this particular version, and that is Street Fighter 2. What can you say about it? You know, Street Fighter 2 is the definitive 2D beat-em-up. Um, and while I'm using the Mega Drive Special Championship Edition to highlight the series, I'm talking about Street Fighter 2 across the board. It is still to this day um, one of my most played games. It is aged very well. Um, Capcom knew what they were doing. Um, you know, I can still play Street Fighter in all its iterations, but Street Fighter 2 will always be its pinnacle and um, absolutely love it. You know, 2D beat, beat em ups at their finest. Street Fighter 2, legendary. Uh, there's a reason why it's lasted this long. And uh, finally, guys, my number one most played game. This is the game that, I mean, come on, guys, it's not going to be a new game. Definitely not. It's got to be a game that had lasting appeal. And this game I've played pretty much for 20 years, and it's still not bored me. I still enjoy it as much today as I did back then. Um, for those of you that uh, are familiar with... Uh, the games that I like for the Mega Drive, yes, it's a Mega Drive title, uh, are going to get be not surprised by this one. And uh, the game is Streets of Rage 2. Amazing game. What can I say? First of all, I've got to tell you, my genre is the scrolling beat-em-up. I love them across the board. I spent the early 90s playing them in the arcades. And Streets of Rage 2 was definitely the one to get on the Mega Drive. You know, what again, what can there be said about this game that's not been said before? If you've never played this game, you know, because you weren't around or whatever, this is definitely look into it. Fantastic music, great graphics, great playability. This is Sega at one of their finest. I'm, you know, definitely, definitely, um, I would easily even say this is my favorite game on the Mega Drive period. Um, I have played this game continuously for 20 years. My friends still play it. My friends still love it. It still comes on uh, to this day when my friends come around, you know, whether it be on the Mega Drive or it be on the uh, uh, Sega Collection on the PS3. It doesn't matter. We play this game a lot to this day. It has lasted. Um, the music, everything about it is aged very well. It is such a great game. Highly recommended. That's it, guys. That is my top five most replayed game. Uh, again, this is a response to Blue Tonic 78 video. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and uh, a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, but, yeah, thank you very much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you again next time.